how to make any google document as a live fillable document and make it as a live form where people can fill in and they can store the information into some storage say google sheet and finally you can generate that merging the data into the document let's go into docs.google.com i'm picking up a template uh, let's say let's pick up business letter as a template so wherever the fields that you want to fill just make this notation dollar curly brace name of the field and end with a curly brace I'll make this as an address contact number email this I'm going to make this as a date there's a letter to a client so I'm going to make this as client name again I'm going to make this as client address So here it says again the client name. So I'll pick up the client name here and put this in. So let me write something. Thanks for the excellent meeting on the I'll say project name we are happy to announce that we'll be starting the project on it's a project start date Right. So you can keep going right in terms of how you want to uh, want the whole letter to be and simply just make wherever you want to have a fillable field make this in this format dollar curly brace field name end with a curly brace. Designation and again your company. Once you have identified all the dynamic field information and formatted it correctly, then you can just go and pick up an add on called fillable document. install this add-on accept those permissions once you have accepted this fillable document add-on will be available for you to use start the add-on The add-on automatically identifies all the dynamic fields and lists them here. 
you can start set up or try a demo so since this uh, business letter we have already uh, mentioned all those uh, far dynamic fields let's go ahead and start setup there are three steps here the first step says that where do you want to store uh, the the form responses into you can simply click next and allow it to auto configure So it does some auto configuration by creating the Google Sheet for us and giving a name for the Google uh, Sheet tab. Simply click on next. So the next thing is once the document is uh, presented as a form and the user is filling in the uh, data, the data gets stored into Google Sheet. But if you want to generate a merged document which merges uh, the this template and the data, where do you want to store that document? That is called destination folder. So again, this can be auto-generated. Say yes. Yes, now it is generated and it is ready. You can even go and see that folder. This is the folder. Next step is, once the document is generated, you can even deliver that as an email to your uh, end user or your customer, whoever you want to send it. For that, you can set up an email template. For simplicity, we'll just go ahead with that default template. So now if you look at that, it has identified all those names that you have configured in the document and it lists that it is uh, just preparing the add-on give it a minute okay setup is now completed and it's ready so let's look at the uh, the fields here right company address email date so there is something that i would want to do here go and look into that uh, okay, the company information is must, so I'll say it is required. Again, I'll get on to the date. Date needs to be in date format, not the text format. So I'll pick up a date format. By default, it takes month, date, year. That's okay for me. I'll go ahead and save this. Again, I have one more date that also I make this as date. Okay, so now we are ready to launch uh, this uh, Google document as a fillable form. Now let's go ahead and launch this as a fillable form. So the document is now shown as a fillable form. Let me close this uh, menu. It's a toggle menu, you can close or open. Let me fill the form. Jesus Technologies, we are in Bangalore. My contact number, something that I'll put it here, I'll say info. Com. Let's see, the state uh, 20th March. Robo Auto Company. This is in San Diego. Okay. 
okay so the client name automatically comes here and yeah actually i'll put the name of the person there and so it comes automatically here let me fill the project name a web app so we're happy to announce that we'll be starting this project on the 25th of March you can fill this from a date also from my calendar also since it is a date component so same applies here My name is Mikesh, I'm a director of Zivrush Technologies. The name of the company automatically applies as I have mentioned it here. So once I have filled the form, I can save this. It gets saved into the destination spreadsheet which got set up automatically. And then I can go ahead and generate the document. Generation of document merges whatever I have given as an input with the Google document and generates that as a new Google document as well as a PDF. Okay, great. So this is the PDF and the new document which is available. You can have have a look at that by clicking on that. So if you look at that, whatever information that I have given that has been now merged with the document and a beautiful document has been come out. Okay, so I would want to, I would want to send this document. Before sending this, maybe we can have a look at the Google Doc. This is the Google document that has been generated. Once the documents are generated, we can send that as an email. I want to send only the PDF, so let me choose PDF. Click on send as email. So it picks up the default template. We can modify it here. Let's say I want to send this to, let's say info at durus.com. And then I want to call this as business letter, project start, I will say this is a notification document. Please see the details of But something I can also insert whatever the field information here. I can say a client name I want to install. So this is ready. Let me go ahead and send it. So the email is successfully sent. And I can open the, my mail client and see how the email is sent. This is how the email is sent. You can look at the document that has been attached. Okay. Okay, back to our document. So this is a simple way of making any Google document as a fillable form and store the responses into Google Sheet, generate the documents and send them as emails. Thank you.